Ghana's Black Stars will face rivals Uruguay in their final Group H match Friday. The highly anticipated game will be a rematch of their 2010 World Cup quarterfinals matchup in Soweto, South Africa. And even though only one of the current Black Stars players was on the squad 12 years ago, Uruguay has five players playing in this World Cup, including Luis Suarez, the man himself that is at the center of this enduring rivalry. In the final minute of that game, Suarez used his hand to deflect a header from Dominic Idea that would have crossed the goal line. Suarez was given a red card, but Asmoa Jan went on to miss the penalty, and the rest is history. Luis Suarez says that he does not regret his actions during that moment in the extra minutes of the game. So I apologize if I take a tackles and take injury the player and take a red card. Maybe I can say apologize. But in this situation, the red, the, I take a red card, the ref say penalty. It's not my fault because I don't miss the penalty. You see the, the, play, the player miss a penalty. He say he do it the same in this situation. It's not my responsibility to the, shoot the penalty. Nonetheless, Ghanaians are determined and committed to carrying on this rivalry to the very end. I spoke to some of them here in Accra and here's what they said. For me, Ghana and Uruguay game uh, is a revenge. There's no two ways about that. And Ghanaians know Otua don't know if he have any image to redeem as far as coaching Blaster is concerned. For me, scoring uh, Uruguay will be the most highlight moment in his coaching career with a Black Star. Other teams, yes, we can, but that particular team, Uruguay, what they did to us, we will revenge and trust me, we will score them two. We score them two nil and the whole world We'll get to know we'll revenge and there's no two ways about that based on the previous match that we watched um i think they did very well um the tactics and then the formation yeah it was quite good and quite impressive so um we are looking forward for friday's match and for me ghana will win this match oh yes the blaster and the Uruguay. yeah we are going to win blaster is going to win 2-1 yeah 2-1 yeah, is your projection yes why 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 is that because our game is going up yeah, because our game is going up, so I believe that we are going to win. Too. Why are you saying it's going up? Based on what? Uh, based on uh, the way we are looking at uh, how the World Cup is going. Uh, so we are also pushing our game up. Definitely Ghana will score you guys. Yeah, why? Why do you think? Because of what they did to us last, last time. So we are here to... At least you score them like three. I'm going for Kudus, right? So more of you for Kudus. Um, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Who do you forecast is going to win the game? If I blast out the win, I'm a Ghanaian, so I have to support my, my country. Yeah. yeah? By how many goals? Prediction? Oh, uh, three or two. <laughs> kudus will score another goal. More than Kudus? Yes. Please. All right. Definitely. Uh, not because I'm a Ghanaian. We have to win. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm a proud Ghanaian. And definitely we are going to win. We have, if we draw, we have the chance of qualifying so we, we are hoping to win and my prediction is just a long goal there'll be a one goal difference if we scored one they are they will not able to, to equalize everyone has been looking forward to this uruguay game um, it's going to be very emotional i know we're thinking about revenge but we have to keep cool heads and i think that just comes down to it whether it's the black stars players or whether it's Ghanaians or supporters in general right we don't have to let our emotions get the best of us all the time we have to keep cool heads we have to go out and do what we need to do to get the results that we need so we're looking forward to the euro AI game i am confident that we would be able to get we'll to get a win or get a great result to be able to get to the next stage